Hello, welcome to me. Um, I have this sweater I'm working on that I shared on my uh, Kofi page. Um, I just thought I would go ahead and kind of work on this last sleeve and have a little chat for a bit about just random stuff. Uh, mostly I wanted to dive into some yearly goals because I think it would be nice to kind of, um, I think I made a blog post about this on my Kofi too, but I think it would be kind of nice to kind of have it out there as like, you know, like, hey, this is, these are your goals that you had at the beginning of 2023 and then being able to look back and watch this video and kind of see where I was at um, and compare and contrast to where I am at in 2024. So I'm gonna start really quick by splitting this. I'm gonna be doing um, my very best attempt at doing magic loop with my insanely long cable. Um, I don't have one that's actually the right size for this, but we're gonna try our best. Um, So in terms of goals, I have separated it into one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm looking down at my phone, by the way, so um, don't mind me looking down there. Six different uh, kind of categories of like my life, I guess. Um, that way it's not just like a list of goals. They're kind of organized a little bit. And the first category is faith goals. I have a few goals that I want to do, um, that I want to be able to sort of achieve in terms of my faith. Um, so by the end of the year, I want to be at least doing um, three personal, like doing personal prayer three times a day and then reading my Bible at least once a week. I have a Bible and it is very beautiful and I definitely do not use it enough. So I'm, I'm really hoping that I can use it at least once a week. Um, I'm keeping all, you'll notice I'm keeping all of my goals extremely tiny and very uh, easy to achieve because if I don't, then, um, then when I don't achieve those goals, it kind of, it kind of, <sighs> I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it. When, when I don't reach an expectation, it really breaks me down and um, is not, it's not good for me. Then I have some hobby goals. So like goals in terms of my hobbies. Um, I only have two for most of these, but for my hobbies, I wanted to make art fun again and then knit at least two sweaters. I'm not gonna count this one because I think um, my intention for that was to start and finish at least two sweaters this year. Um, so this one doesn't count because I started it last year. Um, so there's that. Um, then I have a couple of personal goals, some financial goals, and then some online goals, which I'm definitely gonna share those. Um, I don't wanna share like the more personal me stuff. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try and be conscientious about what I'm sharing online um, to, to the world. But for my online goals, I want to have at least 200 people um, on YouTube and then 200 people following me on YouTube and then 100 people following me on Ko-fi and then 300 people following me on Instagram. Um, and on Instagram, I think I'm actually almost at 200 people. So I feel like I should be able to reach 300 by the end of the year, um, if not have more. But, um, ooh. I really don't know about YouTube and Kofi. I think I have like 60 subscribers on YouTube and then on Kofi, I think it's like 14, 13 or something like that. It's it's uh it's in the lower the lower teens. But um we'll we'll see how that goes. I'm really hoping that I am able to grow in not just like online presence, but like I don't know, like, I don't really want to have a posting schedule for YouTube or Kofi or anything like that. I think I've tried having schedules before um, and they just have never worked for me. It's kind of a lot of pressure, I think, to try and, um, to try and reach 
the goal of, oh, I need to, I need to draw something or have something to post by this time, uh, next week. And, and just realizing that I've been busy and haven't had the opportunity to, to do so. Um, it's really hard for me to reach, uh, requirements like that, which is making me wonder if like, this is really going to be something that I'm able to do. Um, cause I spend a lot of time with my family. Um, a lot of us are like still home during the day. Um, and so I like to hang out with them rather than try and create content, if that makes sense. And if I am creating content, I want it to be like something that I can sell on my shop. So I want it to be like, you know, like a plushie or something like that. That way I can still like work on it while I'm with my family, but I don't have to like, but at the same time, it's still like beneficial for my uh, small business. I call it a business. It's really not a business. I probably sell like one or two items um, on the months that I'm advertising, which is not, is not, we'll see what happens with this new year. I feel like I feel like I can't really remember anything that I was doing with like my online stuff last year. Um, I know for sure at the beginning of the year I was dead. I think I was like MIA or something. I was, I don't think I was even on Instagram for a while before that. But then once I had to leave my job, I realized like, oh my gosh, I don't, I don't have a source of income. Like literally the only option for me after I had to leave my job was um, just, working from home, doing art and things like that. But at the same time, like, even though that was like so unexpected, I feel like that was probably one of the, um, I, like, I feel like it was still something that I was prepared for because, um, before I even started having any of my symptoms, um, was when I got the offer from Perry Grip to do some animations for him. Um, so if, for anyone who doesn't know, I do uh, contract work animation for Perry Grip, um, and I don't upload that stuff to my channel. I don't think that I will. I don't really see the point in having it on YouTube twice um, because his, his channel will get all the traction that I would need um, with those videos. If I tried to upload it, it would just, even though I am technically the creator and he's given me permission to do so, like, I, I feel like the the animations get enough attention on his channel um, and I don't really need to try and sort of compete with that. It's not really a competition, but like, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm explaining this right. I just don't want to, to be on YouTube twice. Like, I don't really see the point in that. Um, I don't want it to be on Instagram twice or anything like that. I think I still have, I might, I might've gotten rid of them actually because they were the older versions. Um, I made newer versions of, the videos I did before I was working with him with better audio. Um, and, and I think those are the ones that he uploaded. Um, but I had, before I was working with him, I just kind of recorded the audio in my closet and I uploaded those to my Instagram. And I don't think that they're there anymore. Um, I, ended up take, I think I ended up taking those down because of similar reasons. I just didn't feel like there was any purpose in having it um, up on the internet twice by two different people. Doesn't make sense. I need to figure out where to pick up my next stitch. I think that's right. We'll see. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. But yeah, it's been pretty crazy. I, I think like that happened because I, I, I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Um, especially because of my faith, like, it's like, God has a plan for literally everything. So, like, it's so easy to look back and see, like, oh my gosh, I got that job with Perry Grip because I was going to be losing, you know, my health would be deteriorating, I would have to leave my job, and that would be my main source of income. Um, and I definitely don't want it to be my main source of income forever. I think I made a post sort of kind of mentioning that um, on my Instagram and also on my Ko-Fi, it was the same message. Um, so it doesn't matter where you look at it. It was the same, it, like I, I, I literally copy pasted it, but um, it just like, I, I really want to make art work. You know, I want to make art and my shop stuff be 
my job. I think that would be, I think that would be ideal. Cause I don't know, I feel like, I feel like for a long time, I've kind of had a lot of different things that I wanted to do. For a long time, I thought that I wanted to be an artist, but I think really what I want to be is just a creator. Um, I want to kind of make things and share that journey with people. I think definitely going forward with my channel this year, I want to do literally everything. So I've already uploaded a baking video and then I have a sewing video. And then now I'm gonna be doing a knit sort of chatty video. Um, I've been watching a lot of Cheyenne Barton <laughs> um, and, uh, that'll probably show during, like, future videos, um, exactly how much I've been watching her, uh, because she's literally, like, I don't know if she's, I, I really don't think that she's going to be continuing to make videos, but I would definitely recommend going and checking out her channel, um, because it is just, the vibes are all completely perfect, and she inspires me so much, not just with the videos that she was making, but, like, like, the way that she was doing her channel was ex was very close to what I wanted to do. Um, I think in her latest video, it wasn't necessarily a goodbye, but it was kind of a goodbye and explanation of why she wouldn't be as active anymore. Um, but she was explaining kind of how, like, her channel had been become not so focused on a lot of her other interests. Um, and she had a lot of different interests like me. She liked to bake, uh, she was learning to crochet, but her main thing was art. And I think that's kind of how, um, I've been letting myself be perceived on the internet for a while. But, um, I want my channel to be literally everything. I want it to be, you know, all of my knitting journeys. I want it to be like, oh, I found this crochet pattern and I'm going to make it today, uh, for the first time kind of thing. Or... I really wanted chocolate cake, so I'm I'm gonna be making a chocolate cake, make this chocolate cake with me, like just that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't know, I feel like I've never exactly seen it done before. And Cheyenne had been the closest that I could find to that. And I had even asked a few people to, um, like in some Discord servers that I'm in, like, do you have anyone who kind of does something sort of like this? Um, that you follow and like, why do you like their content? Like what is actually the value in that sort of thing? And a lot of people were telling me that it's all about authenticity. And um, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube, um, but because I'm trying to have my own channel, I'm now starting to try and reach out and watch a lot more than I normally would. Um, I usually will put on like a podcast or an episode of something. I found quite a few different creators um, that I'm really enjoying um, and I'll put it on like before bed and just kind of fall asleep to it. Um, so those are all going to be main inspirations. Um, and I'll put um, links to their channels in the description below um, because you guys should definitely check them out. They're all very awesome people. But as I've been watching like other people, I've noticed that even though what they're even though like what they're doing or or talking about isn't necessarily like obviously I'm interested in it otherwise I wouldn't subscribe to them but like it's not necessarily something that I'm like I need to watch it in order or anything to understand like the story or anything like that of what's going on I don't need to watch it in order but I just love like watching the person I like to watch them do things and enjoy what they do and and talk. It's just like it's so it's so wholesome in a way. Uh, I don't know. I I love I love people. People are just like really cool and really amazing. I don't know. I don't know if that's making any sense at all. Um, but I am gonna try and cut this off at twenty minutes exactly. I think that's a good amount of time for me to have to edit through a video. And then once it's all edited, um there won't be like it won't make the video like too long um i've heard from a few different people that it's better to have long videos um so that you can get more watch time out of one long video than you would out of like several short videos but um from my experience the watch time on my long videos has not been very good but it's probably just because i'm a small channel and people i haven't quite found my audience yet um 
So I'll keep working on that. I'm not ever going to try and appease the algorithm or appease necessarily like a certain like set of people that I want to please. I'm always going to just do what I love and have fun doing it and throw it out there and let the right people come and find me. Um, I guess it's just kind of hard to like see like that I can have kick the little thing my camera's standing on. It's, it's hard to, to have to see that I haven't found my audience, but literally I've only uploaded like two videos and two shorts. So I need to learn how to be patient. That's definitely my number one advice. Um, am I doing this wrong? No, I'm not, I'm not. Um, knitting while talking is only a little bit difficult. Um, I have... Okay, give me one minute. Um, there was something I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I need to do, um, I definitely need to do some more sketchbook stuff. Also inspired by Cheyenne Barton, I was watching, um, she has a few videos where she does like sketchbook tours and like draw with me sort of things. I really want to do one of those. I don't really have the best angle for it yet. So I'll need to figure that out. But um, she has like one of the things that she did in one of her videos was explain kind of her, the like the purpose of her sketchbook. And the literal purpose of the sketchbook was to just kind of like build her art style. So she would like draw in the book, in the sketchbook, like literally like copying other artists that she admired the style of. She would copy like their pieces or like certain aspects of their art style and just kind of like put it in the sketchbook. And I really, really, really want to do that. And I kind of did a little mini page um, a few days ago, but um, I think I think I'm going to do one of those. I have like a whole list of videos that I want to record. This was one of them, luckily, so I can cross one off the list. I don't, there will probably be more of these in the future as well. But, um, it's, uh, <sighs> it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of work to run a YouTube channel, but we'll see how this goes and hopefully it will go well, but I definitely do want to do like a little, um, a little, a little more of like trying to develop my art in my sketchbook because it's been unused for a really long time but I've been starting to draw in it a lot more not a lot but like more than I was before which was pretty much never um and I've been trying to do more um of just trying to have fun with it I bought these fine liners from five and below and it's it's different but it's also really fun to try and draw with them because it encourages me to just be really confident in my lines, but at the same time have to really think about where my lines are going to be and what the actual piece I'm trying to draw is. I've been drawing a lot of like big stuff um, with the fine liners, but um, it is still like, it's bringing me back to when I would make like really huge doodle pages and just like go off and have a really grand time with that. So I definitely want to do more of that. And then maybe at the end of 2023 or maybe in the middle of 2023, we'll have a full sketchbook tour so I can take you guys through what happened to my sketchbook during this year. Um, we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully that will happen. But I'm just about to finish this. And then I want to go play Human Full Flat with my sister. And I think she's already out there waiting for me. And she's probably listening to me right now as we speak. But we'll go find out. And eat candy, probably. And then maybe at some point go to Bahama Bugs today. And maybe also go to the store. We'll see. I got pretty much nothing done on that while I've been talking. I'll get better at it.